hello my wonderful people welcome back to spice channel tv guys more troubles looms for the impeach deputy governor of edo state philip shuaibo and i must say few days ago philip shuaibo was removed from office as the deputy governor of Edo State and has since vowed to challenge this his impeachment and removal from office by the Edo State House of Assembly in court. He sees this as a sham orchestrated against him. And immediately Philip Shuaibu was removed, was impeached, Another person named Omo Bayo Godwins was sworn in to replace him as the new deputy governor of the state. And you can see that the former deputy Philip Shiwaibo's removal from office on Monday was a peak of his prolonged political uh, you know, feud with Governor Godwin Obasiki, with the Edo State lawmakers having accused the former governor of prejury and disclosure of government secrets and even asked the state chief judge to constitute a panel to, to investigate uh, the, the allegations. So at this point, they have found uh, Philip Schweibel culpable of disclosing government secrets, so many things. And at this point, a lot of troubles is coming for, you know, uh, the former uh, deputy governor of Edo State. And a day after his impeachment as the deputy governor of Edo State, members of the APC in Isako West local government area protested protested alleged plans to readmit Philip Shuaibu into the party. And the protesters, drawn from the 12 wards of the local government, took their protest to the party secretariat, where they submitted their petition against the alleged plan to readmit the former deputy governor. My country people, when I they see this kind of begin where they happen, Mr. Yakubo Musa, while representing a while presenting a committee on behalf of the APC stakeholders, said that Shuaibu's exit from the APC in 2020 brought peace in the party. He argued that him coming back into the party would bring rancor and disunity in the party. So they are protesting over an attempt by the impeached deputy governor, Philip Shuaibu, to jump the boat and defect to the APC. And the attempt is viewed seriously by members of the APC as a calculated plan by Philip Shuaibu to bring rancor and disharmony and unprecedented crisis into the APC. So they've gone ahead to appeal to the national chairman of the party, Abdullahi Ganduji, Senator Adams or Shomole and the state acting chairman not to admit the impeached governor, Philip Shuaibu, into the APC saying that he has no political votes to add to the party because it's on record that Philip Shuaibu has not won any election since he left APC to PDP. It seems that Philip Shuaibu does not possess any electoral value that could warrant his, you know, reacceptance into the APC. And they've gone ahead to call on uh, the APC's national leaders to hear their cause because they want to keep the peace that the APC enjoys in APC. And an attempt to enroll Philip Schwebel into the party is like a direct invitation to crisis, to so many problems, to disintegration in the party. And they wouldn't want that for the party. So they are protesting ahead of plans by Philip Shuaibo coming into the APC, voting into the APC from the PDP, because at this point, nobody knows the next move of um, Philip Shuaibo. If he will remain in the party, I'm talking about the PDP, if he will remain in the PDP or if he would go back to the APC. And the APC have said they don't want Philip Shuaibo. They are not interested because look at the problems he created in the PDP. Now he wants to come back to the APC. They've already kicked him in advance, making sure that he knows that they are not interested in him coming back into the party because he's having crisis with the PDP. 
So, so many people have been asking a lot of questions ever since Philip Shuaibo's impeachment if it would affect the direction of their do state governorship election. Because at this point, Philip Shuaibo is like a wounded lion and he would try his possible best to see how he would harm the PDP in one way or the other because nobody knows his next move. Nobody knows what he would do next at this point. And we know that all this crisis started when uh, uh, Governor Godwin Obasiki rebuked Philip Shuaibu's governorship ambition. Instead, he, you know, he took another person, you know, instead of his deputy, Philip Shuaibu. And that was how this crisis started whereby Governor Godwin Obasiki called him, you know, someone that is very, very determined, someone that is very, very ambitious. And it was because of his ambition. In fact, 80% of his impeachment was mainly based on his governorship ambition. Even Philip Shuaibo said so, that all this alleged uh, probe of uh, misconduct against him was solely because of his ambition to become the state uh, uh, to, to become the next state governor so my country people we all know how these things work the governor uh, going against the deputy governor, the deputy governor going against the governor and all of that. And according to Philip Shuaibu, he said his impeachment was like an attack on democracy and a show of dictatorship. Let's not forget that um, some few years back when Oshomole was removed as the, I think there was a position Oshomole was uh, removed from, um, Philip Shuaibu was seen dancing he was celebrating and jubilating, you know, when Oshomole was removed from that position. And the video, you know, uh, surfaced online about a day back or two days back when uh, Philip Shuaibu was seen dancing against the defeat of Adam Oshomole. So the APC now are saying that at this point, uh, Philip Shuaibu should not come near to their environment because he's not needed. He's not needed. So he should stay in his PDP. He's not needed in the APC. This is like a fair warning ahead of uh, ahead of time. In case Philip Shuaibu is having an intent on coming to the PDP, uh, to the APC, he's not allowed. So uh, P uh, Philip Shuaibu now is left with two options, either to go to the Labour Party or to stay in the PDP and cause crisis and chaos within the party. Because at this point, Philip Shuaibu is an aggrieved party member and will try to do one or two things to harm the party or might even work against the party like Nyesom Winke. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you.